love like this before open my eyes cause I never knew love like this before what a surprise cause I never knew love like this before Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. From LAX Airport. I am headed home to see them babies. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Coffee Talk. Good morning. Um, so, today is the first day of Lent. It is also coffee talk. I mean, coffee talk. Valentine's Day. Um, I went to a huge business dinner last night and uh, ate and drank and ate dessert and everything. And I feel gross this morning. Uh, And now there will be none of that for 40 days. Um, I am headed home to see the kids. I'm super excited to see them and Michael. Uh, I feel like I've been on the road forever. Um, So today is Valentine's Day. And the interesting thing about that is um, it's nice to hear from people that love you, that they love you. And it's nice to be recognized for whatever contribution you make in love um i'm not a huge valentine's day person because i'm not really a sappy hey amy happy valentine's day baby i'm not really like a sappy mushy kind of chick i never have been um but i want to tell you about loving again there are so many people out there right now who are moving on from divorce separation death they are first-time widows it's their first year they're a divorcee And they can't imagine loving again. Their hearts have been through so much. They need reprieve. They cannot figure out a way to even see that another love could be for them. I, as somebody who has been through serious heartache in my life, I can tell you that each love is greater than the last. And the bravest thing that you can do is love again. I know how scary it is. I know that there are people listening right now going, hell no, girl, you are out of your mind. I will not love again. I am not interested. It's not going to happen. Blah, blah, blah. I am telling you now, if you can love once, you can love again. No matter how bad your heart has been broken, Your heart was made for love. That's what it was created for. So if it's still beating, you can love. That is the truth. You have purpose. You are meant to love. And I know, I know, there are people listening to me right now going, I can't do it, Jamie. I won't do it. I cannot do it. And I'm telling you, I know how scary it is to make the decision to love again. But the beautiful thing about love is you don't have to look for it. It will find you when the time is right. And when it comes to you, you just got to be open to it. You just got to be open to it. And like, honestly, what's the, what's the opposite? Being alone? Staying alone? You don't want to be alone. You might want to be alone today because you're angry, because you're hurt, because you're grieving. You don't want to be alone forever. 
we were created for the human connection. We weren't created to be alone. And I understand, I, I remember after Sony and I broke up, I thought, I will never, I will never love again. I will never allow myself to love that way again. I just won't do it. And then, you do. You do. You allow yourself to love again and that love is great and it's different and it's vulnerable and it's beautiful and you get first kiss and you get, uh, you know, Carrie Ann, there's something that you just wrote that's interesting to me. You said, why love again? Why not just be alone? Um, girl, if you really want to be alone, that's your choice. I'm not speaking. If you are bound and determined to be alone, this coffee talk is not for you. Coffee talk is not going to speak to everybody. Like if you, if you watch this video and you were like, nah, I'm going to be alone. That's my choice. I'm choosing aloneness. I want to be alone. This coffee talk isn't for you. I'm talking about, and y'all, <laughs> y'all don't need to comment, I'm choosing to be alone. This is not for you. I'm talking about the people who are afraid to love again. That is who I'm talking to. The bravest thing that you will ever do is allow yourself to love again. If you want it, and you are listening to me right now, and you are nodding your head going, girl, I want it, but I'm scared. I'm scared to love again. I lost my husband, or he left me, or he cheated on me, or it didn't work out, or whatever it is. I am talking to you. The bravest thing that you can do is allow yourself to love again. If you don't want it, you want to stay alone, I got you. Stay alone. But Cheryl Johnston, you're afraid? Girl, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Let somebody love you. Let somebody love you. And Michael, you don't have to be taught how to love again. I know the way you love me. Nobody taught you that. This was a choice you made. You, you chose to love me. Nobody pushed you into that. I didn't, you just, you know how to love, Michael. When the right person comes along, it will happen. And I just saw somebody said, I'm 21 years old, this is the best thing I can hear. Girl, I'm speaking to you. If you are 21 years old and you have had your heart broken and you are terrified to love again, I am telling you, girl, I have been there. I have sworn it off. I have allowed men to abuse my body. I have said, uh, I'll have sex, but I'm not loving. I'm not letting anybody close to me, blah, blah, blah. Listen, the bravest thing I ever did was make the conscious decision to allow the right men and some of the wrong ones to come in and love me. I get it. I get this, the fear. I get it. I get the fear. I've been there. I've walked that road. I've turned love away. I've rejected men. Again, I've let them abuse my body. I'm telling you. Eventually, you will realize that love is a choice it's a decision we make to allow it to come into our lives we also make the decision to not let love into our lives but I, I urge you to to acknowledge the fear like I don't want to get hurt again. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to get my heart broken. But y'all, that's the ride. That's the ride. Life is a roller coaster, man. You got to get on. Let go of the bar. Put your hands up. Like, you're still alive. Your heart's still beating. You have purpose. You were made to love. You were created to be outstanding. You got to walk in that. You got to let it happen. And you're going, Jamie, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to love again. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to get my heart broken. I'm telling you. You got to be brave about it. You got to be brave about it. You got to just say, when it comes to me, I'm going to receive that. I'm going to be open. I'm telling you. I was in an abusive relationship with a narcissist who destroyed my life. Destroyed my life. And when I met Michael and he wanted to love me, I was not ready. I was not ready. I would, no, 
I tried to do all kinds of dirty things to that man and he would not let me. He made me wait 10 months to see his nipples. But he did it his way and he did it with love. And by the time we got to that stage, you know, the love was real. And it was like he came, he came into my life at a time where I was closed off to love and I was terrified. But, you know, we, we let it happen, we let it unfold, we took time, I fell in love with myself again, you know. Look, and let me tell you, my dad died. My mom, my mom was one of the bravest people I knew. Because my mom was like, I'm not going to be alone. That's not what your father would want for me. And, you know, shout out to my mom. Because, you know, I had a rough go with my stepdad in the beginning. Now I love him. But my mom took on a man, a relationship for love. She didn't pick anything else round two. I didn't get it. I was like, what are you doing, Susan? She went for love. Shout out to Susan. Real talk. Shout out to Susan, you drive me crazy, but girl, you went for it. She let the love in. Like Stephanie Mills said, cause I never knew love like this before. Open my eyes, I never knew love like this before. Anyway, be brave y'all, be brave about it. Hey Ashley, be brave about it. I'm serious. Let somebody love you. Even friends. I've been burned by girlfriends and then I meet new girls and they're like, I want to be your friend. I'm like, bitch, I'm done with women. Y'all are crazy. I can't have new friends. But then you meet somebody, you meet a woman, you click with her and you're like, oh shit, okay, maybe I could have one more friend. And then you do it. Real talk. You got to let people love you. You should let me love you. I love you so much too, Michael. I love you all. That's why I do this every day. You think I do this what? What you think I rap for? Push a fucking rap for? I'm not Kanye West up in this bitch. Um, all right, y'all, pray for me. Pray for me, because Lent starts today and I'm basically going to be eating nothing. But I don't really feel good. I need a life change. Um, I love you. Hold on, let me do Wounded Warriors. Don't hang up on the wounded warriors, y'all. Come on. This woman just came over to me and said, I'm watching Coffee Talk from across the airport thing. <laughs> She's here. She's in the room with me. She's watching Coffee Talk. Um, all right, I love y'all so much. I love you. I got you. You're going to carry me through the next 40 days. I'm going to carry you. Be brave. Go for love. Have lots of sex. I love you. Have a great day.